Hello all, I'm back for more JU87 Stuka Ace. Uh, we set up in my last video, I'll put a link to that in the description so you can see a little bit of an overview and the setup. And now we are ready to take this out for a test drive. The first mission, the mission that's recommended in the book, we are doing uh, mission number one in Poland, 1939. Uh, we've got everything set up from the setup video. We need to do two approaches as what we need to do. But we first need to do, um, we need to take off. Uh, and that is not a given, uh, the takeoff. You take the sequence of play here. You need to draw a flight and check for a mission start event first. Um, not all the cards have a mission start. In fact, most of them don't. Usually this, the theater missions usually have that. So let's, we'll go to the flight deck that we've uh, set up in the setup or created in the setup, however you want to call it, and pull out our approach. And we do have a mission start here. So let's take a look at that. We have a mission start, damaged airstrip, plus one to take off. So that is not a good thing. So we've got a damaged airstrip here. Uh, didn't, uh, didn't do our uh, maintenance. And so now uh, that's going to affect my takeoff. So I have a plus one to take off. Looking at the takeoff here, we need to execute a takeoff action. So where is the takeoff action? Well, it's on this chart over here which is uh, we'll have to uh, do a D12. And if it's 1 to 11, nothing happens. If it's a 12, then uh, we, we need to, we'll need to do a check. Whenever you see this check 4 plus, means you're going to have to roll um, a six-sided dice, which again, there's no rolling. It's all on the cards. And you're going to check to see if there's something that happens there. Uh, and there could be damage to the plane or something like that. So that's not good. So let's hope for nothing here, but we roll a D12. And we've got to add one from our uh, damaged airstrip. So again, we go back to these. Oh, I should put this. Uh, this this was the approach. So we take the roll here. And we have an eight. Uh, you ignore everything else on this. We just look at the eight. And we add one. That's nine. So we got off because... It's 1 to 11 is nothing, so we are up in the air. And so with that, uh, we will have our altitude, which I thought I had the altitude marker. There it is. We go to high altitude because we have clear weather. You want to be at high altitude. If you're at low altitude, you're going to have bad effects of on um, some of your abilities, especially like you're, you're closer to... Uh, um, uh, flack, right, and stuff like that. So we're off, right? Now we have to do uh, two approaches. Uh, again, the mission here is there are two approaches for this mission. Uh, one thing you need to think about in this game is uh, managing your action, uh, uh, your action cards and your stamina here because... Um, these action cards, you you after after you've done an attack, you get a chance to uh, get these back up to uh, your to to draw back up based on your engine power here. So if you get damaged, you're gonna you're not gonna be able to draw as many cards back up for your engine power. Also, uh, the uh, um, you, and you're going to use these throughout the game. Uh, now, if you're only doing one sortie, which is what we're doing here, probably not that big a deal, right? Because you're going to use these cards. You're going to draw some back on the attack, so, uh, draw some more after you after the attack, so you can use those on your back to base up, approach or back to base draws, uh, and you you have some th th that you can use for play. Now, these are multi-use cards again. You can use them for to add to die rolls. When there is a die roll, uh, you can add that number or you can add the special effects. Sometimes like this is for navigation is a three. Uh, I don't know if, I, if, if we'll have any of those, but uh, this is strafe two, evade two, or you can just add it for the, the effect down at the bottom if uh, if there's uh, if it fits right, like to plus two to hit, like you don't you can't add these action cards to a hit roll because you're using the damage roll 
uh, of, and we'll, we'll get into that. Hopefully we'll get into that if I get that far. Um, but here I can uh, add a plus one to hit. So I might want to keep that card for my damage because I can't, even though it's a two, I can't use it uh, for the hit, but I can use that for the hit. Uh, just to make sure, and when you roll for the hit, you're, or when you determine the hit, you're basically looking at what your um, what your release roll is, and then you're also you see if you either destroyed the target or damaged the target. Of course, destroy the target is better. So these cards right here, you got a hand of five. You might get more during the course of of your career. You you can there's some skills you can buy to get more cards, but this is what you have. Once you use them, you're out. I mean, after the attack, you get to roll back, you get to draw some back up depending on your engine power, but that's it. This is a limited quantity. The same is true with stamina. You start off with five stamina. I think you can get more stamina during the game by buying some skills and you get, you get, you're able to buy skills based on victory points of completing your, you know, targets and completing your missions. Uh, stamina allows you to discard these and then draw an extra card. So like if you play one of these cards to modify a die roll, you can discard a stamina and then just draw blindly from the action deck and then, and hopefully it's not a zero, but then you can add that modifier to the die roll as well. So th th these uh, stamina and action cards are a limited resource that you're trying to, uh, you know, um, manage to, to your, uh, to your advantage, right? Try to make sure that you've, you're using them in the right circumstances to get the right roll. Now we're just doing one mission here uh, and it's only one sortie, as I said. If this was like two sorties, like mission two, well then you're gonna, you're going to do the mission, you're gonna uh, refuel uh, and then go back out again and do the approaches and return to base. So you're basically doing this all kind of twice um, and so there's more chance to have interaction uh, with the enemy or flak or, or have something go wrong with your plane or what have you. And so it's all kind of built up in these flight cards. Um, and so you might want to keep more action cards or more stamina to deal with those effects. So the more sorties you're doing, and I imagine some of these more complicated missions in the book might have multiple sorties that might might play into your decision on when you want to use cards. So since this is just one sortie, this is a one-shot deal, I'm probably going to be a little bit more free in using my cards and stamina uh, to get the results I want. So we're up in the air. We're at high altitude. Uh, now we need to do our, uh, as again here, we need to do uh, two approaches for mission one here. So we do the first approach, and that's just drawing from the uh flight cards and approach radio contact check for well, let's pull up so you guys can see it radio contact uh check for success you can lo look at the first objective card and then place the card back on top of the mini deck okay so remember when we set up our objective cards we have two here. One is the target, and the other one is a searching or something of, of the effect, something that's not the target. So you got a 50-50 chance of getting the target on the first chance, uh, or the other card might make you have some bad stuff happen. So, um, so radio contact, I got to do a check of four plus. So when you do that, you're basically you're going to be rolling uh, a, a die here. So I got to pull this out and see what we get. I can add a modifier to that. Um, I don't think that's that big a deal to see this card because, uh, I mean, I'm I'm going to go over the target anyway on that. Uh, I guess if you're doing, uh, if there was a deeper deck or something of the objectives, maybe that was something to do. So I'm just going to roll in this case. I'm not going to use any of my action cards. Just after I got done saying I'm, I'm going to be free carefree and loose with my action cards i'm not going to use an action card so i think you just roll in this case and i'm going to look at a the six-sided dice and oh i got a six okay so good thing i didn't use any of my cards so i got a six on this here so that means that's a successful check so i can look at the top uh look you can look at the first objective card and then place the card back on top so top of the objective deck is searching so uh, I, I had a 50-50 chance. So I'm going to have to do, do a searching over the target. However, it's an enemy contact. And if you recall from the mission that uh, there is no enemy presence, it's none, uh, which is also uh, set right here as well. 
Um, so that's not going to hurt me at all. I mean, they're not going to do anything. There's no enemy. This is 1939 Poland. There wasn't, uh, there was kind of air superiority for the Germans at that point. So that's our first approach. Now we got to do our second approach. We draw from the flight deck and we have uh, AA defense. Draw a D6 on a four to six, reduce the fighter squadron support by one. Well, that's really probably not going to affect us that much because we have no fighter squadron. There was none to begin with. Our, our support fighters were zero. So, you know, let's draw anyway, but it's probably not going to do much of an effect here. And we've got a three. So, uh, yeah. So not uh, it, it, it doesn't reduce it anyway, but it's kind of a non-event. So now we are over the target. So uh, when you, once you get over the target, uh, it is a whole different, let's get to the uh, sequence of play here. So now we're over the target, you draw an objective card and check the card type. So we already know what this is because we had the uh, radio contact. And so it is searching. So it's enemy contact. There is no enemy contact. So there is, there's no enemy to contact. So we're good there. So now we will uh, draw the second one. Uh, if you've drawn the required number of flight cards, you can proceed to refuel. All right, well, we're not doing that. So now we go back to the second card, which is target reach. So now we're over the target, and there's a whole procedure for when you're over the target. And that is we're going to be dropping our bombs. So let's go to the target procedure, which this is probably one of the more complicated parts of the game, uh, but really this is not that complicated of a game in any respect. So I'm going to do the bombing attack. So you do dive, which is a check of four plus. You do AA fire, which is a, a you roll on here and it can be anywhere from nothing to it could do AA damage. You do a bomb release, uh, which you're, again is a check on four plus. You do a pull up, which is a uh, a check on four plus and you know that could be really bad because the failure there is a crash right nobody wants to have that and then after the end of that you draw action cards equal to your engine power so you can burn a lot of your action cards right before this and you're going to get some back based on your engine power now if you're it, right now we're, we don't have a damaged engine so we're going to get two back um different planes have different engine power or different models of the of the stuka have different engine power so ours just has two but if we get damaged in this AA fight here, fire here, that could affect that as well. So first we do the dive. Uh, and the first thing that um, you're going to want to do is select your release height here. So we can start with the base. We can start near or we can go lowest. The book says don't do lowest uh, to start on your first mission. You probably want to build up a little bit of understanding of the game and some skills maybe. Um this base is is good for the pull up, but uh, it doesn't help you on your release. The lowest you get a plus three to release, so it's really good for you know having a successful hit with your bombs. But you got a minus three to pull up, so you got a greater chance of crashing. So the near is kind of a balance of that. You're going to have plus one to release and minus one to pull up. So we're probably going to do that. We're going to do near, uh, and then we do our dive check. So visibility is good here because uh, we've got clear visibility. You've got formation. There's, there's no, we're not in a formation. Uh, that's, that's when you have greater responsibility uh, and are controlling more planes uh, later in your career or after advancement. And then you have altitude. We're doing the, uh, we're doing the near on this. So uh, then you do a check. So this is also where we can put uh, add cards to this. This one it adds one to pull up. We might want to keep that. This one adds to hit. Uh, we might want to keep that. Um, this lets let's a draw a card. This one right here, the evade and uh, formation. I don't think we need this one here. So we'll we'll play this card uh, to modify that roll. So now we have uh, a one. And then we draw, we, we roll the dice, so to speak, by flipping a card and see what we get. So we've got a two plus one is, uh, um, well, let me take that back. Uh, the, the one thing I want to do too, I want to, I can play a stamina card as well. So let's play a stamina or stamina counter 
pay, pay, pay one of those, and then we draw blindly from the action deck. So we've got another one. So we've got uh, one plus one plus two is four. So we got a four, uh, which gives us a four is a good. Four Check four, we're four plus, so no failure. If we were to fail, we would have a minus two. Sorry, I'm not showing it up there. So we got a four plus. So if we had a, a, a failure, it would have been minus two to the release. So we succeeded on our dive. So these go off the, off the board here. Let's put them off over here. And now we are at the AA fire stage here, right? So we can spend one stamina. Uh, we get minus one if we spend two stamina. And I might do that. I might just spend my two stamina to do minus one to that roll. So I'll spend my two stamina there. Again, another reason to, you know, have your have stamina. And then we're going to roll the dice or flip a card. And the, the card we have is five. So it's five minus one is four. So nothing. So nothing takes place there. That's good. So AA fire was fine in that regard. All right. So that goes over here. Now we're to, there's no AA damage because there was no AA damage from the AA fire. Now we go to the bomb release. So the bomb release is, remember we got a minus, we got a plus one to release for near. So that's not, uh, that's not, uh, well, that's good for us. So we're going to try to do our check here and see if we've got a hit. So this is another one where I might want to uh, play a card. Um, and I think I'm going to play this one here, which is a plus one to, uh, to it. And uh, let's, let's play a stamina here. Uh, do I want to save that for the release? Um, I've got a plus one to release. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to play another stamina, which means I can draw a card blindly from here. Oh, and it's a zero. That's awesome, right? <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. So I've got a plus one to my release plus another one here. So I've got plus two to my release. And this is a nice little chart here to show you how you're you're doing it uh, from, a, a, from a Stuka's uh, capability. So I've got uh, plus two to my release. I pull over a card here and see what I have. And it's a three plus two is five. So I've got a successful hit. So I got a hit. So three plus two is five. Uh, got a successful hit. So now we check to see for damage. Now remember, you take the result of your. Um, you take the result of your. Well, remember, I kind of mentioned it at the beginning here. When you're, you'd use the bomb release result to see what kind of damage you did or, or what kind of hit that you did, right? And on, on a four to five, the target is damaged. On a six plus, the target is destroyed. Um, so I was I was at a five on mine. So I'm going to be target damaged, but I've got a um, I've got this plus one to hit here. And this is something, you know, normally you can't modify this because this isn't a roll. This is, you're going back to a previous roll. So I got a plus one here to hit. I'm going to play this because that adds me plus one. So I've got a target destroyed in that regard. So let's put a target destroyed here on top of this. Oh, oh well, I forgot to mention this too. I've got um, the, uh, well, I missed a couple things here. I've got the AA modifier that, uh, uh, I should have added to the AA release here, but that, it still would have been, uh, I still think I was under it. No, it would have been minus one to release. But I was still able to succeed. So yeah, I didn't add that in. So the, I got an AA of one here. So that would have uh, added to this. So I would have been at a minus one release. I'll go back and check the the the, the tape later. But I've been minus one release. So that would have been this made this a four, still a success. But then um, the four plus uh, one would have been target damage. So this is a target damaged, not uh, destroyed. I'm gonna go with that. So uh, the victory points are difference is if it's destroyed, you get three. If it's damaged, you get two. So I'll get two victory points for that. I think I'm calculating that right. But, you know, this is my first time playing this. So um, 
So there you have it. I've got a, a successful hit. I've got a successful damage, but we're not done yet. I need to pull up. So now I got to do my pull up check. Uh, and I'm going to use this card. Well, this card, this one's kind of weird because it gives you one, but it also gives you one to pull up. So, I mean, either way, I'm going to use it for a one. Um, I'm going to use the stamina here, my last stamina. Hopefully that wasn't too risky to draw a blind card. Uh, and I got a two. So I've got uh, one plus two is three, uh, which I've got a minus one to pull up here. So I've got a plus two to pull up now. So I got the minus one from being near plus three here. So I got a, a, a plus two to pull up and then I check uh, uh, and there's no engine damage and there's no AA point. So I think we're all good there. So I pull up here, <laughs> draw a card. Three plus two is five. Yes. Oh, that was good. I got a check of four plus with a with the five. So I successfully pulled up. Boy, that was uh probably didn't probably didn't play that the safest way there. So uh pulled up successfully. Now I draw my engine power back up, which is uh I draw two cards here. Well, first of all, I dropped my bomb. Oh, I didn't do my modifier for the bomb. Man, I'm screwing up all over. So let's go back to the uh, to the hit. Um, so I would have had a damage because I was I think I was right at four. Uh, I'm messing this all up. I, I think I was right at four. But my bomb, if you look at the target, is a 500 pound bomb gives you a plus one. So guess what? I had a 500 pound bomb. So I did have a target destroyed. Well, we'll go back. The users that are watching this, you'll you'll know if I screwed up or not. But this is how I'm playing it. So I'm going to get three victory points because I did get a target destroyed because I think I was right at uh, six because I was I would have been at the five plus six. Well, well, anyway, I'll go back and look at the tape. I'm a one shot kind of person. Uh, a la the rope from Hitchcock, so I'll I'll clean it up in the after uh, editing, which I don't do anyway. So um, yeah, so you you also have to look at the bomb modifier as well. That that that's the whole reason why you why you do this. I remember that when I pulled up this up to do my engine power. So now I draw my two engine power, which is one, two. Oh look at that! There's a couple of a nice three card there. Um, and, you know, I can also do this uh, if I think I am get, get get something better than a one. I can play that and draw my one card. So I got a two. So this is good now. So I've got uh, two twos and a three on my return home, which now we go back to, you know, the return to base. I got to do one card here. I got to do one flight card to return to base. And if you look at the sequence of play... You draw a flight card, check return to base event, uh, execute the event, and then you're back to the base. So let's look at my return to base event. Uh, return to base, position check. Check for or discard one random card. Okay, so I do. I have to do a check here or discard one random card. Well, you know, that's not that big a deal since I'm, I'm finishing up this mission here. So let's do a check for... Uh, I don't have any stamina to draw an extra card, but I, you know, I can't add this to it. So I got a three. Let's do the check. And the check is four plus three gives me seven. So I don't have to discard a random card. So by playing a card, I didn't have to discard a card. And there you have it. I am now back home. Uh, you can proceed to the refuel stage. Uh, draw two action cards, gain two stamina, perform repair action. Well, you know, that's, I think, if you're doing multiple sorties here, I think we're done. We return to base. This was a one-time shot here, and uh, we have destroyed the target, or we've damaged the target. I'll, we'll go back and do the math, but uh, either or, I've, I've, I had a successful hit. Pretty sure I had a successful hit. Now, the question is whether it's destroyed or damaged. I'll have to go back and look at the tape, uh, look at the replay just like the NFL. Anyway, there you have it. That is a sloppy uh, playthrough, uh, my first playthrough of this game and my understanding of the rules. And don't use this as a guide. Please don't use this as a guide uh, for how to play. Uh, 
But uh, I think that I, the main reason I wanted to do this was to, uh, and do it on live is or live, but do it on tape is that you guys can see this isn't really that complicated a game. Like most solitaire games, it is very procedural. You have to follow this sequence of play. Uh, it's all driven by cards and what happens on the cards. You're going to be using the cards for multiple purposes to roll to see to do your check results. But they're also going to give you your approach and your return to base events as well. Uh, the the thing I like about this game as well is you are you there are, there are quite a few decisions here decisions on when to use these cards and how to use your action cards when to uh, pay your stamina um, those are, are are big decisions to help mitigate you know potentially mitigate dice rolls uh, which again there's no dice but you know the card flips right. Um, I also like the uh, decisions you're making with, you know, what kind of ordinance that you're going to be putting on your plane. Um, and, uh, you know, there, there are decisions of when to use these cards during each of the different uh, phases of the game as well. You know, this whole bomb attack is very somewhat detailed. It's almost like a, 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 a microscopic view of, of, you know, inset, deep dive into, deep dive, no pun intended, of exactly what, what the attack looks like. And there's it's very procedural, like solitaire games are, but there's a lot of tension here on, and I, as you can see, I barely, you know, succeeded on some of these things. Uh, and uh, one of the, you know, the, the pull-up could be absolute disaster in, 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 in career. Pull-ups, you know, failed pull-ups have ended a lot of careers uh, <laughs> in this, in, uh, in, uh, in real life. So anyway, so there you have it. That is the first mission, uh, mission one of Poland 1939. I'm going to do some more of this. I'm going to kick it around some more and I might even do some more filming on this when I get a chance. But uh, I wanted to do this one just because I, I felt like I was comfortable enough through the rules. Um, you, know, you decide to at least go through this. But as you say, I kind of messed up a few things, but not really because of its complexity, but mainly because you have to follow some sequence. Um, anyway, that's what I have for you today. Love to know what you think about this. I'll put a link to, again, to the setup. And I'll, I'll see if I can, I'll try to put a link to the game found, which I believe this goes live this week on the 21st, I believe. So uh, check this out. Let me know what you think. Bye. Okay, I watched the replay. And after further review, I think I'm still going to stick with uh, a target destroyed. Um, I did mess up on the AA. That would have uh, had a minus one to my release when I did the release um, on the uh, release check. I still would have had a successful release, but it would have been uh, a four instead of a five. But then when you add the plus one to hit from the bomb and plus one to hit from the action card I played, I would have still been at a six, which is target destroyed. So that's how I'm playing it. If you see something different through all that, then by all means, uh, let me know in the comments. But, and again, uh, this is actually a good experience as, as I'm muddling through the rules. You guys can see the rules as well and understand how the game plays even better than I do. Again, really quick, crisp gameplay uh, once you kind of know these charts and, and procedures. And again, uh, my uh, playthrough did not go into some of the more complicated, you know, stuff like either a strafe or, or gun attack, but definitely didn't go through, you know, any dog fighting or enemy contact just because this mission didn't have uh, any enemy contact. So that's going to add a little bit more complexity, but also adds a lot more decisions to the game as well. Anyway, so that's my wrap up. Sorry, I had to go a little bit long on this one, but I wanted to rewatch re the tape and see if I really truly messed something up. But I kind of caught it all, but not necessarily in the right order. Anyway, also another thing too is I did a, a Kilroy's deep dive as the beginning of this as opposed to my normal uh, intro. And this is technically not a deep dive as I have defined those. However, you know, with when you're doing a dive bombing, I had to use that deep uh, dive uh, graphic that my, uh, that my oldest daughter did for me uh, a few years back. Anyway, take care. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>